when I was about 14, 15, 16, that was when I really got, um, you know, I loved doing voices and, and making people laugh when I was a child. But I got taken to the National Theatre a lot when I was in my teens. And also I got exposed to a different sort of filmmaking, different stories. But I remember going to see Richard Eyre's production of John Gabriel Borkman at the National Theatre, starring Paul Schofield in his last performance. This great, towering uh, Scandinavian play about a family in pain. And there were all sorts of things about my own experience and my own life that I didn't fully understand and I certainly didn't have the language to articulate. But I felt it in Paul Schofield and I felt him articulate it on behalf of the entire Littleton Theatre. And that's when I understood the power of acting. Gave you a 10 page uh, backstory on your character. Does, yeah. does that help? Very much so, How? yes. Um, it helps create dimension in the character. It means that uh, the character exists in an imaginative world outside the screenplay. And so there are links between what a character says and does with a backstory with the past. There were things he gave to me and there were things he gave to Jessica Chastain, who's playing my sister, that were the same. And he, it's, it's his way of saying, this is, this is your childhood and you're allowed to respond differently to those events, but this is what happened. And it actually creates a, a very, a, an extraordinary integrity to the work. Uh, if I had any advice to give, it's to, um, to just be as true to yourself as you can. Because there are, and I'd say that to anyone who is an artist, is that um, the, the, the more uh, honest and authentic you can be about your own personal experience of being alive, the more likely the specificity of that experience will connect with somebody else. Um, and so not, so not to try to, to, to bend or shift or change or, or just, be, just be honest about uh, what you want to say and say it as loudly as you can the film that eventually those secrets the fact that we played those secrets and kept those secrets close um, you can see those dynamics working in the film it's good for actors to have secrets I think I think it's important why um, because it keeps the work mysterious I think there's important there's an element of uh, there's an element of mystery in all of our lives I think it's it, it, it means you it means there's always an interior life um, you know the camera. The camera sees this, but it, and it sees this, sees into your eyes. But it sees there's something going on behind your eyes, and maybe not. And it's good if you, don't, if, you if, as an actor, if I know what that is, and the audience or, don't. And I realise that the the profundity of all these strangers arriving and sitting in a dark room, and after two hours the lights come up and everybody is crying, but none of us know each other, because Paul Schofield has done something vital and honest and express something about being alive that we all understood. And I thought, wow, that would be something to, to do with my life.